Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Continuing the fidget spinner craze. So, hope you guys don't mind. But anyways, as you can see, what we're doing today is a paracord fidget spinner kind of keychain holder. So it's a way of just, um, yeah, putting a quick lanyard onto your fidget spinner. And you can clip this to your bag, your belt loop, whatever you want to do. Good for uh, quick access. So the way this works is uh, it's got a bead here cinching it down. And you just pull that bead up and then you can kind of unhook your spinner. And this is just a simple loop, right? So a couple of ways you can quickly put this on. You can loop that around and then uh, pull this through. There we go. And then cinch that down and you're good to go. The other way is, you kind of already saw it, but if you've got your loop like this, just to, you know, can you give you guys a quick demo? Bend this back, like so. You've got your two loops like that. And then, one loop in, one loop in. Oops, no, I messed it up. Loop in on this side, and there we go. Cinch that down and you're good to go. All right, so this is what we're doing today. And I think it's pretty useful considering how hot fidget spinners are right now. Anyways, like it or hate it, this is what's relevant today. So uh, remember to check out those affiliate links down below where I use all my, uh, get all my paracord materials and whatnot for this video. Because when you shop through those links, you're helping out my channel greatly. And uh, I always appreciate that. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got all my necessary materials. Got my fidget spinner. Won't need this just yet. Set that aside. So I've got my length of paracord here. You know, all measurements will be right there on screen. I've got a bead as well. I'm using the um, Schmuckatelli, I think this is the Ona bead. You can use whatever bead you want as long as it can fit the uh, two strands of 550 through. So first we're gonna tie our loop that's going to loop around our fidget spinner. And I'm gonna make that loop about four inches or so. Yeah, I believe four should be more than enough in terms of length. Now from here, let me move this stuff out of the way. We're going to tie a single snake knot or wall knot if you want to be more accurate. So we take the left loop around like so, right strand behind that loop and go through loop here so you can adjust this of course you can make that adjusted to your necessary length this might be a little over four it's okay we can loosen it tighten that up okay that's fine pull that tight now because um if a walnut is by itself, it tends to get a little loose sometimes. We're just going to tie a second one. You can be as creative as you want, actually, with this part. You don't have to just do a couple of snake knots or a couple of walnuts. Okay. So we've got the two knots tied. Now we're going to feed our bead onto here. You can do this after, but I'm just going to do it now, actually. So... We're gonna use the old um, string trick here. I've got a piece of micro cord you can use in the uh, inner piece of the inner guts of the paracord if you don't have a micro cord. So it doesn't matter what length you have for this cord, I'm just going to loop it around like this. I've got my two ends here. And now we're gonna use this to feed the bead through. So I'm gonna feed that through the bead like so, and then we have to pull it through here. So it's gonna take a little bit of effort. Okay, so we got that on. Let's push that all the way up here. Okay, so that's the first couple of steps. So you should have your loop here for your fidget spinner and the bead and the two knots. So from here, um, we're going to attach this end to I'm using a snap shackle here, this sort of steel snap shackle. You can use a key ring or a carabiner, whatever you wish. I'm using a snap shackle for this one. So all this cord, you have your freedom to do whatever you want with it. Um, I think I'll just tie a diamond knot real quick here. 
Give me a couple more snake knots, and then I'm going to attach it to the key ring using our snake knot method. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me just do this uh, fast motion style. Okay, so I tied the uh, one diamond knot. Now we're going to attach this to our snap shackle. Remember, you can use a key ring, carabiner, or whatever you like. You're going to feed the two ends of the paracord through your attachment point there. Now you're going to bring it to the other side. And now we're going to tie the, um, attach the key ring with the two snake knots. So I've done this before, and if this is not clear in this tutorial, you can check my de uh, dedicated one. Maybe use brighter colors there. So we're going to start off with the right strand. Bring that to the left. Go behind everything and bring it to the right side. Like so. Okay. It's a little hard because I have to use my fingers to hold it there. But you can see what I'm doing there. So bring that to the right side. Now take this cord on the left. Bring that around everything as well. And feed it through that first loop you created on the front. Okay, and pull that through. And this will form our snake knot. Okay. There we go. So let's tighten that up. And now let's do one more. Okay. So same thing. Strand on the right. Bring that around everything. Bring it back to the right. Take the cord on the left. Bring that around. Go above this cord. Go through the loop here. And then close that up. Okay, there we go. So, a bit of tightening. Just play with it. Make sure it's nice and secure. And there we go. So now we can snip and singe our excess cords here and here, and then we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it, guys. We are done. So the fidget spinner kind of lanyard holder is done. And again, just to demonstrate how that works, just kind of loop it on to your fidget spinner. And then you um, put one in through here. Just go through that loop. Just the way you're doing like almost like a lark's head or cow's head, you know. And you pull that on. And then the bead, cinch it down. And there we go, nice and secure. You can clip that onto your belt loop, bag, whatever you want. Um, you can make it shorter too if you want to keep it on your belt. You don't want something you know too long. So there we go, right? That works just fine. And you can try it on a different sized spinner. The uh, ANSI Labs one or ANSI Toys one here. A bit larger. I think it works just the same. All right. Cinch it down, and you're in business. Pretty cool. Now, one more thing. Let's try it with a smaller one. Spinner you guys haven't seen yet on my channel. I don't know if this will, how well this will work. Let's try it with my new Wii Knives triple spinner. Super awesome spinner. You guys haven't seen this one yet, but we'll do a full review of this one later. So awesome. Just got this in. Anyways, we're going to see if this works with a smaller spinner. What you can do instead of um, loop, looping it on like I did, you can kind of just bend the paracord back, making these two loops, and then feed this through. Sorry, like this. Right? So, this is another technique you can do. Make that loop right on top there. Hold the two loops there. Latch this on. And there we go. And then you can cinch the bead down. And there we go. That works nicely. That is a pretty sweet look.
Okay, so that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video how to do the paracord fidget spinner keychain And it works just nicely guys. Thank you so much for watching remember to check out all my affiliate links down below uh, Where to get all the materials used in the video and uh, yeah, I always appreciate you guys supporting my channel uh, Stay tuned for more paracord videos. and I'll see you guys in the next one